What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. So, as you may know, Trials of Osiris will be returning in our current season, Season of the Worthy. To be exact, on Friday, March 13th, 2020. Wait, isn't that Friday the 13th? That's a terrible omen and such a bad day for Trials to return. There will be blood. <laughs> Anyway, Trials is coming back, and on March 11th, 2020, we have already seen the biggest issue before Trials even launches, and that issue would impact how Trials runs tremendously. This issue is none other than Bungie's servers becoming overloaded, having, quote, network issues, end quote, which are causing errors, and then we also have the infamous DDoSing. Now... And this has been proven time and time again, Bungie releases a new expansion or a new game mode that servers get flooded with people trying to log on at the same time. This leads to a constant issue which lands us in a queue for an extensive amount of time. God forbid you time out while you're in a queue or you have a network issue and then you pretty much lose your place in the queue and get moved back a couple of thousand places. This can be a very frustrating issue. However, what is even more frustrating is when Bungie says that the issue is with you, the player. For example, on March 10th, which was the day that the season of The Worthy went live, Bungie came out on Twitter saying, quote, We've updated the port forwarding section of our network troubleshooting guide. PC players experiencing beaver, mongoose errors, empty towers, or are unable to join fire teams may need to update their UDP destination ports, end quote. For those who don't know what port forwarding is, in simple terms, a process that allows you to access the server a lot easier, in this case, Bungie servers. Now, that's great and all, but don't you think it would have been nice to tell people that you updated your port forwarding section of your network probably the day or two before you launched the new season? I don't know, that kind of just makes sense? But the issue didn't stop there. Yesterday, on March 11th, 2020, Bungie had said, quote, We've resolved the issue where players couldn't sign into the Destiny Companion app or the Bungie website with their Battle.net account. Players who observed this issue should report to the help forum, end quote. Then Bungie followed up with, quote, When releasing Season of the Worthy yesterday, some of the matchmaking settings did not deploy properly, so we're making a server-side change to update them. This change will enable Trials of Osiris matchmaking settings, so we need to redeploy before it goes live." End quote. Like, really Bungie? Huh. But wait, there's more! Bungie said, and I quote, We are investigating an issue that causes crashes in Gambit and Gambit Prime. Players experiencing other issues should report to the hashtag help forum. End quote. And finally, <laughs> Bungie had said, quote, we are investigating an issue where interacting with the statue of Sir Ido in the Wish Ender quest in the Shattered Throne may cause crashes. Players experiencing other problems should report this to the hashtag help forum. End quote. So, as you can see, Bungie is having issues with their servers all over the place. It's not just Gambit, it's not just in PvP, it's not just in Wish Ender, it's tons of different places. I personally was getting the crashing issue in Gambit several times while playing. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it hurt us and then sometimes it actually benefited us when the other team crashed. But when it first happened to us, we were destroying the other team in Gambit and seeing that one guy was actually AFK and we had went over to the enemy's side and killed the same guy like three times in a row in the same place. Then the game crashed. And when it did, we actually thought that that guy that was AFK was DDoSing us and that still could have been what had happened until we kept experiencing it and then other people around the world kept experiencing the same issues. Then, I went to Twitter to find out what was actually going on and Bungie had explained. Now, the point is that these issues should not be happening in a game that has been out for over two years now and going on its third. And I understand that, you know, shit happens, but given that there are no pinnacle weapons or no ritual weapons in Season of the Worthy, Trials of Osiris will either make or break this season if Bungie continues to have these network issues. Then, 
Trials of Osiris will not be a fun place to play competitive Destiny 2, especially if you want to go ahead and get that flawless title. Nevertheless, Bungie still has a day to prepare and fix these issues, and I understand that not all of them can be fixed like the whole DDoSing thing because when someone wants to cheat, they will. And they will always find a way to do so, and all Bungie can do is just ban them if they get caught. But banning someone doesn't actually stop the issue. All the person who got banned needs to do is to change their ISP's IP address, not their own IP address, and they can pretty much start all over. Luckily for us, the first Trials of Osiris for Season of the Worthy will have light enabled. So if someone gets banned, they will not be able to have enough time to level up a new character or a new account in order to play Trials of Osiris. DDoSing and recovering from a banned account isn't really a secret and has been done in many games way before D2. But as much as we all love Bungie and love to give them the benefit of the doubt, all we could do is hope that these issues do not become a factor when Trials of Osiris is released this Friday the 13th. Ugh, still a bad omen. Speaking of Trials, the meta will definitely change, but the regular PvP meta as in the normal Crucible, will not be the same as for Trials due to the different dynamics in the game modes, and I will actually get into that in another video. So, what do you guys think about Bungie having these network issues so close to Trials being released? Have you actually experienced any of them, or are you the one DDoSing the whole community? Hmm. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know what weapons you guys actually plan on using for Trials of Osiris. Now, I've actually seen a lot, I mean a lot of auto rifles going around in the regular Crucible, however, that may not be the case for Trials, so keep that in mind. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny community for LFG on all platforms, content creators, streamers, and you can contact me there as well. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.